What's up my single chats and toxic gamers Yeah, bethe bethe meri gaan phad gayi Ladies and gentlemen, we're hearing about the GTA 4 remaster That's right, the GTA 4 remaster You remember the GTA trilogy, the defective edition, right? I mean, with that spirit, let's actually dive right into it And let's hear what's happening Because this video claims GTA 4, the definitive edition in 2024 everything you need to know like this video share this video and let's check is this a out, gta 4 remaster or at least a port going to be released this year it's very possible okay. although i'm more tending to believe that it will be a port but let's start Bruh. from the beginning in july 20 if it's a port then i hope it doesn't even happen dog like i, I want to act i want an actual remaster like the video if you want an actual remaster. 22 tez 2 posted on twitter that as per a reliable source with clear accuracy on rockstar plans remasters of gta 4 and rdr1 were on on the table a few years ago but rockstar chose not to proceed with the projects yeah, yeah. in mind the to be honest they they ended up getting like a red dead redemption one remake but we all saw dog those twats they charge full price for a 30 fps uh right now i'm hearing that they actually made it 60 fps but i could be wrong poor reception of the trilogy definitive edition might be a reason behind that decision since that post was published there was silence on the subject for several months even over a year then yeah. unexpectedly last year rockstar games finally announced yeah. a new Red Dead Redemption <laughs> project. And while the GTA 4 remaster or port has not been announced yet. I swear to God, bro. Like, these suckers are crazy. They announced the... Obviously, the Lucia Bruna not long ago, the GTA 6 with the Get Theft Auto, but they also did announce Red Dead 1 uh, Remaster, that's what they called it, but it's a port. Uh, it, it was a port that came on. I, I believe they even... They, they did not... Oh my God. They didn't come out with the PS5 port though. Oh, shit. It was PS4 port, yeah! There is some evidence to suggest that such a project exists and could be releasing by March 2024. Rockstar Games' parent company, Take-Two, previously indicated that it had two re-releases on deck to launch by that exact month. One of oh these games God. was the aforementioned original Red Dead Redemption, so it stands yeah. to reason that the other could very well be GTA 4. Of course, it could be a completely different... Yo, to be honest, homies uh, making a very, very valid point, though. They did say, I'm, I just hope that it's not, like, the Trilogy Defective Edition. Already, the memes are insane about, like, GTA 4, which I don't even want to show on the video. <laughs> Bruh. But, you know, this is the Trilogy Defective meme, and, and that is true, the, and their investor call is coming up very soon as well. I believe it's going to be in the first week of February, where we can get more information about GTA 6 and possibly even this remaster. I will stream, so definitely subscribe. Project, entirely unrelated to the Grand Theft Auto franchise, so we should keep that in mind. But this wouldn't be the first time that there have been rumblings about a GTA 4 re-release or yeah. remaster. But returning to the RDR 1 port for a moment, unfortunately, it wasn't the the news fans were hoping for. Instead of a full remake or remaster, the developer revealed that it was releasing a Red Dead Redemption port with no new content. When people hear about a remaster or remake, they immediately think of incredible graphics improvements, higher resolution, better quality textures, amazing graphical effects, ray tracing, and so on. But no. According to many, this game also needs significant improvements regarding inconsistencies in the story. In 2018, Red Dead Redemption 2 was released to... If only the game looked this good, man. If only who are these people making mods? Why are these things not working at Rockstar Games? Why are these people not working as devs, bro? Because I'm telling you, it is always the passionate fans. It's always the passionate people that create stuff like this that looks this good. I mean, if only Red Dead Remaster or Red Dead 1 was actually a remaster, that would be like crazy good though stores and digital storefronts worldwide. The game was a prequel to the first and told the story of what happened to the Vander Linda gang and what drove John Marston away from it. The problem is that this caused some story inconsistencies with the first Red Dead Redemption game where major characters like Arthur Morgan were never mentioned. And when it turned out that all we would get from Rockstar was a port, it became clear that the franchise will never address these elements. Why did Rockstar decide on a port instead of actually improving the game, which was already uh, third? Because it's easier and more profitable I guess yeah. they wanted to make that 10,000 Zimbabwe dollars. I think that's probably what it was. Bro. 13 years old. There are several possible reasons. Rumors of a Red Dead Redemption, remake or remaster, have been around since 2021 and continue yeah. to persist until the summer of 2023. Man, the insane thing here is this, guys. Wait for it. The insane thing here is this that most of the leaks that we heard about, like whether that be GTA 6, 
Project Americas, Lucia Burla, uh, 2024-2025, Why City, you know, one female, one male character, a ton of that crap, like GTA 4 Remaster, Red Dead Remaster, GTA, the Definitive Edition, Defective Edition, where 3, Vice City, and San Andreas would get remastered. The rumors were true, though. Oh, shit! And we previously he heard that GTA 4 was at one point was getting remastered but IGN came out and they said they spoke with sources and they apparently cancelled and now this rumor has gotten uh, is getting revived once again I'll tell you what man I would not mind us getting a GTA 4 remaster right before GTA 6 like especially by the end of this year thoughts agree disagree let me know. Whether a remake was ever seriously being considered as a project has yet to be confirmed, but it is likely that some of the more recent rumors were misunderstandings about the port project. It's been speculated that the remake or remaster of the game may have been cancelled due to the poor reception of GTA the Trilogy, the definitive yeah. edition. Yeah, that was the rumor when IGN first broke the story that, <laughs> that GTA 4 Remaster has been uh, put on pause, which means, uh, or canned, uh, which means it's paused, they're not actively working on it, they are, they're trying to work on GTA 6, which I think is much better, like, give us a new game first, and then think about GTA 4, so all the way back then, we thought that, okay, GTA 6 is gonna happen first, right? And then maybe two, three years later, that's when we're gonna get GTA 4 remaster. But now this homie, this brother, this brother is uh, speculating that we're gonna be getting it now. I mean, I would not mind a remaster right before GTA 6 because on a real though, guys, I I, I know I'm about I'm about to make you a little bit angry right now though. Yeah, I'm about to make you a little bit angry and upset right now because uh, wait for it, because I genuinely feel like that we're not gonna get GTA 6 early 2025 oh my god oh my god i i think on a real guys like think about it for a second okay like think about it for a second we talking about rockstar games man those seconds they they have delayed games in the past okay multiple times and this said 2025 we don't even know whether it's early or not officially from take two yeah we learned they want to drop it in the fiscal year 2025 so i realistically e you know what I mean, right? Like, I don't know, man. Yeah. It feels like that it gotta be early 2025, but they're probably gonna delay is what I'm trying to say. 2025, November, Bruh. or 2026. <laughs> Hopefully not 2026, though. It may also be that the developer wanted to put more of its resources into the development of GTA 6. And speaking of GTA 6, in December, we finally got the long-awaited trailer for the upcoming GTA. And a huge disappointment was the sight of the 2025 release date announced at its end. The year 2024 seems to be the perfect moment to release some game under the GTA name to keep that franchise alive. And that's why this year Agreed. seems to be the perfect time to release at least a port of GTA 4. Almost everyone who played GTA 4 knows how much the game has aged despite the fact that when it was released over 15 years ago in 2008, it was far ahead of its time. From the very Agreed. beginning, Agreed. there were many performance issues, particularly- This game looked like real life to my console peasant eyes back when it first came out. Particularly with the PC version, which to this day is considered the worst optimized game from Rockstar Games. It's somewhat <laughs> ironic, yeah, 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 because yeah. despite the performance issues, this game is considered one of the best entries in the Grand Theft Dang. Auto series. It's Dang. unknown what caused such poor optimization of the game by the studio for PC, and even a series Holy of patches was not- Dog, I cannot believe that this looked like real life to me back then. Oh my god, bro, I feel like a boomer right now, bro. How many of you guys actually played this game day one? Or, you know, a year later, or two years later, whatever, but... How many of you played? I remember playing this thing on PS3. I also, I should not be saying that on YouTube, oh, but there was ways to get this thing on PC as well. So I'll uh, say that much. And I, I remember getting it, but I, I bought, I had the discs as well. Um, uh, later on, I got the discs. Uh, so it's not like I got it for you. I, I, I think I'm revealing too much. I feel like that I'm pulling my pants down and uh, yeah, I should not be doing that. Okay, I should not be. Not able to fix this. I don't want to get so, caught with my pants down. It know? seems that the problem is quite serious. GTA 4 was originally designed for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 consoles, which had completely different hardware architectures than yep, typical yep. PCs. Porting the game to PC required significant modifications, but it seems that not all of these changes were made appropriately, and the game was built on the Rage engine, which was quite advanced and complex for its time. <laughs> this complexity made it challenging to optimize the game for the wide range of PC hardware available, unlike consoles which- Man, this game was so- advance for the time because guys, you guys gotta understand this right you gotta you need to understand this that you could sit in a cop car and start like cops missions 
Uh, I believe same goes for the paramedics as well. Taxi, you could have been a taxi driver as well. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! How many games you know in which you could do crap like that? Uh, in G, I think you can do that in GTA 5 as well, but, but okay, Bruh. Like, forget about GTA as a whole, right? In how many games can you do that nowadays? I cannot even think of any game. I think the older Saints Row games, maybe, uh, but they literally killed their own, own, own franchise. I mean, they their studio even mm -hmm. shut down, which is just so sad because they chose the, the route of strong, independent, mm -mm, need no man. They went in the direction of woke and, uh, you know, change your gender, drink Bud Light and change your gender today and smash a like button you know what i mean so they kind of killed their brand with that and they chose that route and it's genuinely sad because i was i looked at the cgi and i thought that yo like oh my god like it did look good to my console peasant eyes but then we got the game and uh, we all saw what happened to saints row which is just sad because i don't think we have an equivalent or uh an alternative to gta i want to see another game that we, that is similar to gta that will do two things we're gonna have more games to play and also rockstar will have competition so hopefully one day they realize that <laughs> it's not just about making the shot cards for gta online and you guys need uh and they realize that they need to put out gta new gta games at least like after five years though one new gta game after five years uh, like the video if you think that's standardized hardware realistic. at the time of its release gta 4 had very high hardware requirements many players did not have computers powerful enough to smoothly run the game partly due to unoptimized code but the game also suffered from performance problems Wait even on high-end pcs it had issues with how it utilized pc hardware resources including poor management of cpu and gpu usage leading to performance bottlenecks even on powerful systems Systems. There is also the problem of Z-fighting, which causes textures to overlap each other, and a huge differences between the PC and console versions of the game. Yo, if GTA 6 comes out this way... <laughs> If GTA 6 comes out this way, man, people gonna get so mad, though. Back in the days, I feel like that... Back in the days, the, uh, the reason people didn't, like, give a damn, or didn't get mad to the levels we see now, multitude of things right a we have higher expect uh, higher expectations and we expect better and surely we got used to current modern day graphics as well and secondly i think back in the days more games came out complete you know yeah bugs here and there okay understandable but that was like very few games where you would see bugs like that and especially we like having game breaking bugs was non-existent for majority of the games right back in the days so when you would buy a game you knew that product would work and you would not get cooked nowadays it's just that you buy a product and you're already expecting it to not work and you're like okay well day one patch you know day one patch is gonna fix it day two patch is gonna fix it okay a month later a year later how many times we need to suffer so now i i get it right like nowadays you're like okay if the game doesn't work you're gonna complain about it you're gonna post tweets about it Sucker's gonna make videos Sucker's gonna react Sucker's gonna make more videos Sucker's gonna react again and it's kind of like that cycle right and everybody's just going at everybody and everybody's like fighting and everybody's going hard and to a to a certain extent or to a higher extent understandably so though like missing or broken graphical effects fortunately Us. modders were able to fix most of these problems and in a short time we are able to remove most of the issues that plague the pc version of gta 4 tjgm made a video on this topic and i highly recommend it to those who want to play gta 4 on pc but are afraid of performance issues the link will be in the description down below what else might indicate that a gta 4 remaster or port is actually in the works firstly back in september September 2022, yeah. Take Two Interactive, the parent company of Rockstar Games, took down a fan made mod for GTA 4 known as the Definitive Edition. Yeah. This was a collection of mods and fan made patches. I remember when that happened, like everybody was like, <laughs> Yo, yo, what, what? Hey, Rockstar, Rockstar, why are you doing that, bro? Why are you doing that, man? Why are you taking it down, bro? And some people uh, in the back were like, Okay, you know, something is definitely suspicious. It looks like that we better get a remaster. I remember, man, th it's always fun to uh, you know, speculate, right? And a lot of people were believing that, yeah, something is definitely sus. Uh, I, I think that a remaster is about to happen. And guess what? We ended up getting that defective edition. 
And then they started acting kind of funny with the Red Dead and uh, guess what? We got the Red Dead Redemption 1. <laughs> one port, man. It's a, it was a PS4 version, not even a PS5. Can you believe it? I hope they don't do this game dirty. I rather wait two, three years for an actual GTA 4 remaster than them dropping, uh, they, then them dropping it this year and it turns out to be a port. You know what I mean, right? Uh, let me know where you at. You, you cool with a port or you want an actual remaster? I, I want an actual remaster, guys. Which is aimed at significantly improving the look and feel of the 15-year-old game on PC. Based on information from the author's website, the project of remastering games with mods began in 2016 with a mod pack for GTA Vice City called Reborn and has since grown to include mods for GTA 3, San Andreas, Chinatown Wars, and other Rockstar games oh like God. Bully and the Warriors. The group oh behind God. the project confirmed that Mediafire where their files were uh, shout out to Kaden Cart for actually making this GTA 4 movie. I, I've actually seen it myself as well, and it's like a short movie, basically what you're seeing right now, and it's an amazing, uh, amazing short film. Uploaded, had received a DMCA Holy. takedown notice, presumably from Rockstar or its parent company Take-Two Interactive. This notice required the removal of the Definitive Edition project from their website. In a tweet, the Definitive Edition project stated, I knew this day was coming. Here we are with a DMCA by Rockstar, I assume, on our GTA 4 Definitive Edition patch. Well, I suppose we need to remove all GTA 4 related stuff from the website. Damn. Interestingly, as far as I know. This is why I said it in the past, guys, and wait for it, wait for it. This is why I said it in the past, and I'll say it again. If you're a passionate fan, if you're a passionate mod maker, listen, I love you, man. I love you. You, you literally, I wouldn't, I, I don't know how that works. I don't want to do it. You know what I, what, what I mean, right? And the fact that you're doing it clearly tells me you're passionate. That's why you're doing it. It's not that it's hard. Obviously, it is hard. But what isn't hard, right? Like, it's at the end of the day, you're going to do it if you're passionate about it. Like, forget about, like, whether it's hard or not hard. You're going to do it if, if, if that matters to you. And, that, and if you're a mod maker, and if you want to be a mod maker, advice from an idiot on the internet, okay? Don't do it. Bruh. Don't do it. What are you going to gain? Nothing. Experience, okay, maybe. If you want to be an, a, a dev, okay, then maybe, yeah. Okay, if you want to become a dev, then understandably, because you're learning, you're, you can perhaps, if you know how that works, you can put it on your resume or you can have like a demo reel of your work or whatever, right? Okay, that can surely help you. But if you're just a fan and you're just like, you know, living pay paycheck to paycheck, don't even waste time on making stuff, dog. I don't want to discourage people, but the simple reality is that you're going to waste time. And then you never know. These companies are going to come knocking on your door and they're going to send you cease and desist. And all of a sudden, you know, all your hard work for which you might have take, took like months, years, right? And all of that would be gone just like that, though. So don't even waste your time no more, bro. Oh, only the GTA 4 mod was targeted in the takedown. The site's original trilogy mods are still safe for now, but the project didn't sound too confident in those mods remaining available for long. Just enjoy it when you still can, they wrote. This isn't the first time Take-Two Interactive has taken action against mods. They have a history of being quite protective of their properties and have been known to take down mods in the past. The company made similar... I mean, just make those water, bring like the entire Pacific Ocean on them GTA Los Santos tree. <laughs> Bruh. Okay, those mods that they're they're fine. I I I I think it's just like putting some water on it, and that's and I know it's not that it, it doesn't work like that. But you know moves I mean, prior right? to announcing its own definitive edition of the original GTA trilogy, which despite its problematic release, still managed to be a profitable project. Many want Rockstar Games to release a remastered version of the title, like this yeah. studio did with the trilogy. Xbox One and. Yeah! Nah, man, not like that, not like that, uh, GTA Trilogy, the Defective Edition, bro, we don't want this, bruh, we, <laughs> we want an actual remaster, man, guys, say it with me, we want an actual remaster. Series X and S users can play GTA 4 via these consoles' backward compatibility feature, but those on PS4 and PS5 cannot do the same. And if it indeed turns out that Rockstar decides not just to release a port, but also to make changes to the game, there are a few things that could be improved in GTA 4. The first of these is graphics. This may seem obvious, as graphics are the first visible change a remaster has over the original game. However, yeah. there are yeah. more than just graphical improvements that GTA 4 would have needed. Please, don't 
hate me for this, but I gotta say, the original game with that weird yellow filter that made everything seem much more dull than it originally was, looked pretty bad. This yeah, yellow- What's the law? Bro, come on, dog. Come on, man. That's criminal what you said, but Loki, I kinda agree, though. Loki, Loki I kinda agree. <laughs> Yo, Loki, I actually agree though that yellow, it, 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 yeah, it, it, uh, for the time, okay, understandable, but right now, yeah, I, it's probably gonna be cancer to a lot of people's eyes, guys. But click on this video on the screen because recently we had a ton of new information leaking out about GTA 6, and we actually have good news and also some bad news. Check this video out, and I will see you right there.